How are you guys? This is uh, JP Sarri, and today I have another um, quick review. In this case, is for the uh, Thundercats Lion O uh, Mega Scale Action Figure uh, figure produced by Mesco Toys. Uh, as you can see right here, this is just the box, and you know, with the piece, I haven't just um, get him out of the box yet, but I will. It says right here, you can see ages 14 and up. Uh, cool figure, uh, Mega Scale. It's very, uh, it uh, has a tall size, and I'm gonna probably, um, I'm gonna show you some. Um, um, uh, I'm gonna put him uh, in comparison with other pieces so I can show you it, it, you can see the difference uh, in the size so as you can see beautiful art uh, art um, art print of uh, you know the art in the front of the box this is Thundercats it's a very cool image of Lionel right there it's just warning choking hazard all that stuff you know how it is and um, this is not really a toy it's a toy but not really for kids and oh I love this this is I really like this artwork, as you can see, Tigra, Chitara, beautiful artwork. Um, um, Pantro, that's already out, that I'm probably going to get next. And then you can see Lino, the back of Lino. And here in the back, you can see another thing. Uh, it's, you can see the box, which is the image uh, um, of, you know, the, the symbol, you know, the, the base. So, um, you can see the image of the statue with the claw and the sword, the sword of omens. There's right there. It says Lion Omega Scale Action Figure includes sword of omens and claw shield. Thundercats, beautiful. And right here, as you can see, it just says Thundercats, uh, beautiful artwork. And here on top, oops, it says Thundercats. So it's a very, very, very simple. Right here on the bottom, it just says Mexico Toys, of course, Warner Brothers and you know all the info made in china all right so uh let's just open this bad boy and see what is in what's inside all right now that it's out of the box let me show you this it took a little while just to do it just to get all the seat ties and everything out of place you know how it is but it, looking at the, the 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 figure i couldn't be more pleased than you know than than i am because um because this is a very, very gorgeous, gorgeous um, piece. And I can show you this, and I'm going to come closer. Everything is great. Uh, there's not really too much articulation, but in reality, I don't care for the articulation. As long as they poseable, you know, the main poses of the character, that's all I care about. And, you know, I did my best trying to preserve the box because I like the box, so I'm just going to keep it. Um, as you can see right here, um, everything is great. The figure, and as you can see, I'm going to try to get closer. Uh, and trying to uh, right there uh, as you can see focusing on the face this is a great sculpt great face you can see those eyes those cat eyes and the colors and the texture is perfect there's no imperfections in that the hair is very red extremely red but I like the way it is um, it is it is a great job as you can see right here uh, the head comes out very quickly because it's on a ball joint very nice I'm not really I don't like to do this uh, but uh, just to show you it's very simple the way it is um, the color is very nice it goes in perfectly like right here you can see on um, the color I don't see major imperfections on the color the blue is perfect the, sh the shadowing uh, the shading is is great um, his arms they are on a ball joint they're not really movable but this you can actually you know uh, pose and because they're also on a ball joint uh, and joints uh, right here on the ball joint you can see it's brand new so you can hear the, the crack sound I always like the crack sound of brand new figures um, love uh, uh, you know right here on the apps you can see all the the the, the fur all the image of the coloring and uh, everything in the sculpt is very nice uh, it's very very nice the color is perfect all the figure um, the blue color right here on the belt um, you know you can see the symbol right here you know, his back is great the color is great right there um, you know there's a little imperfections in the paint jobs here and there but you know for this is an action figure it has a little weight on it um, Actually, the these are actually uh, you can um, it has some articulation on on the on the calves on the on the legs right here on the boots so that's great so you can actually pose it you know so you can stand much See better right here the arm uh, in this case very nice the color the the um, the detail is perfect on the color you know they did a great job right there there's the the little hole where the with this little joint goes in and he pops very 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 simple and very easy 
and as you can see right here it has the articulation you know you can you can you know move with different angles I like this arm um, and I like it, the drop is good here it's a little you know thing with the uh, sculpture with the plastic but you know it's not major now talking about accessories this is the first one I'm gonna show you this is the the sort of omens and it's dagger dagger form uh, it's very very nice as this plastic is very sturdy the paint job paint application on the eye of Tundera both sides is perfect I like the way they did it very uh, reminiscence uh, is very deep um, to the to the cartoon so I like uh, I like that about this figure as you can see it has some gemstones right here there's a lot of detail uh, redstone right there it, 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 it is a, it's a great great uh, sword here's a sword um, of omens uh, fully extended and I really like the way they did this sword uh, as you can see the eye of Tundera is right there on both sides and uh, the only grip I have with this even uh, uh, with this statue as you can see it I don't know if you can see it I'm gonna try to focus focus on this as you can see right there there were some sloppiness on the paint job some uh, scratches right there on this side and also in the center of this side but you know it's very minor I can actually my, I can fix it myself with some little paint on it and it will look like brand new like nothing happened you know um, you can see right here the detail is more detailed than the um, the the, the the dagger but it is great it has the same more gems it's fully formed you know uh, everything is, is great that like I said there's no it's not warp and I don't think it's you have to be uh, to worry about it because of the material the plastic that is being used is a great it's good quality material so this is a great great sword all right now that what well, you can see here in the sword I already put him in it's very simple to uh, to install there's not really uh, just do it right there let me just try to uh, angle this a little more so you can uh, enjoy it sorry for <laughs> the shaking uh, as you can see right there and let me just move this right here uh, it is just fantastic I think Mesco did a fantastic job in recreating this piece uh, it is great uh, yeah it's not a statue you know I'm a statue collector but uh, you know as a figure it is it is a great figure and it's a nice sword and the way they did it it was it was, it was great uh, as you can see the, the it is fantastic the way they did it um, I'm very impressed with this this figure the third accessory that comes with it is this you know the claw shield and uh, this is very heavy it's very good plastic uh, it is the detail on this is perfect there's no imperfection in, on the paint the paint application was done perfectly the the gemstones right here looks very nice it's a very nice touch the the color of the you know uh, uh, the claw is just it's amazing you know, the detail here there I wouldn't assume that they will make such a thing you know compared thinking that it will be just something you know a little cheap on the cheap side but they did a great job they went all out on it uh, it has a lot of shading on, uh, right there the paint application is, is just perfect and like I said it goes in on the piece right there it pops in very easily I already um, installed the the claw uh, the claw shield just to show you and it is it is a fantastic job I like the way they did it I like how they um, created this and the way it does of, of you can see there is some movement there is some articulation on that because of the joint uh, that goes in there and it is great it looks fantastic with this uh, with this uh, figure uh, some people were saying and actually they were it's true and it would be what be it would have been a good touch a nice touch but they didn't do it and they probably didn't think about it and they didn't have the the the, um, the you know the space to do it um, if this actually dagger would go into some type of uh, insert right there like in the cartoon and actually the Bandai um, figure that was a smaller scale than this um, had that uh, and of course that is that figure had some uh, some uh, articulation on the on the knees and articulation on the on the feet and all that stuff but I didn't like some of the joints and you know it was kind of like cheaply cheaply made honestly uh, I've never been a fan of Van Dyke uh, uh, figures because uh, even though they're, they, they tend to be a little expensive and actually they don't have good quality. But I'm happy with this part, you know, i probably going to have to find something to display this with because it looks cool. I like the way it does. 
uh, and the sword in his hand. As you can see, the articulate, you know, everything this is possible. Too bad that it doesn't have uh, torso articulation or leg articulation, but it stands right there. And the way it does is just looks, uh, looks fantastic. Now it's time for comparisons. And first, I'm going to start with this, with the He-Man Masters of the Universe Classics. Uh, I haven't opened this, you know, I, normal, <laughs> I, I don't know, I just keep him, oh, I have a collection of Masters of the Universe, I just keep him, the Motu, uh, Motu, um, figures, I just keep him there, on the box, in the box, you know, I don't know why, you know, I, you know, I just, it just, they just look cool, inside the box, and, as you can see, it's very small, uh, compared to the Mega Scale figure, that, you know, but, you know, if you remember well, uh, growing up, there was a big difference on the scale of the figures. The Masters of the Universe were smaller and the Thundercats were always bigger and actually were one of the biggest, if not the biggest figures uh, in, back in the 80s. Now you can see this comparison. Now we have the Juggernaut and this is the best figure of the Marvel Select line. And if you have it, you know, you know it, it is the best quality figure you can have. Uh, it is heavy and it was actually sculpted by Gentle Giant, but I'm not going to review this today. Probably I will do it later on. I know you have seen tons of them, but as you can see, he is dwarf. You know, he's a dwarf compared to the Mega Scale line. Uh, for uh, those statue uh, collectors out there, uh, as you can see, that's a 1-6 scale. Uh, and as you can see how it compares to this mega scale. So it's a lot bigger. Uh, normally this one six scale, uh, it's almost it's the same size of Hot Toys. And here's with the king. Um, as you can see, this, uh, this figure actually can hold its own with a one four scale statue. Um, of course, it's not going to be the same, but uh, it, can look, it looks pretty cool. Uh, and actually, you know... Um, you know, I'm happy with this. You know, my Thundercat, I'm a Thundercat fan, uh, Thundercats fan, and uh, I'm just adding stuff to my collection. As you can see, uh, this figure looks good. Of course, you know, if you want the, 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 the big daddy, that's the one, you know, to get. That's the one that you need to get. But, uh, you know, that for the price, as you can see, uh, of course, this one has a lighter feature, like I showed that before in my previous review uh, of this statue. Great, great, great. Uh, but this one doesn't have it for the price, you know, if you want to save yourself money and you want to be able to buy more stuff, you know, this is actually something that I would recommend. The guitar is coming uh, soon. We're going to see a Comic Con. It's already announced. I think around Comic Con is going to be out for sale. Uh, and I'm sure that probably they will uh, show us another uh, other members, but maybe Tiger out other members of the. Uh, of the of the cartoon of the group of the Thundercats, so I'm very pleased with this. I would highly recommend it. Uh, for us, uh, yeah, it is not a statue, but of course, you know, um, I would like to. Actually, I would like uh, Eric Sosa to be able to one day sculpt this and sell it in the market. But you know, I probably you already know heard the the news that he's going to be leaving. Um, uh, uh, Kotobukiya and the next two years so I don't I don't see I don't foresee that this is gonna happen on their uh, the Kotobukiya uh, logo but probably in his with his company prototype C we will be able to see uh, that so you know I'm uh, you know I'm extremely glad, glad that you can see this and actually I'm glad that I was able to put them together to show you you know and you know to see how amazing this these pieces are together and hopefully soon I'm gonna have Pantro on that side and any other all the members Moonra and all the members uh, of the of the Thundercats so thank you for watching this video and you know like like and subscribe and leave your comments below and you know thank you for watching my videos and you know I'll see you on the next one peace out